Hello everyone. Welcome to session 35 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the live project that is part 26 of the Independent Software Testing Live project, where I'm going to explain about test cycles. So let's get started. So what exactly are these test cycles? Let me explain in detail, guys. Okay. Let me explain what exactly are the test cycles. So as software testers, we need to work in continuous test cycles, guys. One test cycle followed by another cycle like this. Okay. Let's say this is one test cycle. After this test cycle is completed, we'll start another test cycle. After this test cycle is completed, again, we'll start another test cycle. So the testing is like endless here, right? Until the project ends, we need to continue. Okay. Just read that this is a test cycle. After this test cycle is done, we'll go with this test cycle, then this, then this. Okay. It will keep on continuing until the project ends. Hope you got uh, what exactly the test cycles are, but I will explain in more detail guys. Okay. To give you more clarity of how the tester actually works in different test cycles. Let me explain in detail. Let's say the project has started here guys. Okay. This is the starting point of the project. Fine. So let's say when the project starts as software testers, we start testing the application, right? We do a lot of stuff for testing the application. So what are the activities in your first test cycle? In your first test cycle, what are the different activities you performed? Let's say this is the first test cycle. So this is a starting point. The project is going this direction. Okay. What are the different activities we performed? Let me write down here. First thing you started by exploring the application guys, exploring the application, right? This is the first thing we have performed after exploring the application. Then we have created what we created the, we explored the application and understood the application. Then after that, we created a test plan. Then we created test scenarios. Then we created test cases. Okay, once the test cases got reviewed by the client and they are approved, then we started executing the test cases. Okay, in whatever the uh, application or uh, given while the project started, right? That application we started executing the test cases. Apart from executing after completing executing of the test cases, right? During the execution of the test cases, we reported defects also. Okay, defect report, defects reporting. We reported the defects in the backtracking tool. I showed you all these things in the previous sessions, guys. Okay. As part of this live project, I showed you all the stuff. Once the defects got reported, and we have not stopped there itself, guys. So apart from testing the test case, using the test cases, we also performed. Okay, we also detected the defects. We also performed testing by exploring the application. Also, we tested the application. Exploring the by exploring the application, also we we have executed the by exploring the application also we tested the application. These are all the things that we have performed in the first test cycle guys. Okay. First test cycle this is the first test cycle. Okay, done. So let's say you have reported the defects, you executed the uh, test cases and all those stuff. That's correct. So when you did all these things every day guys, every day while doing, while working in this uh, first test cycle, right? Every day to the client, you have send the status emails, status emails every day, daily status emails you have sent, right? Whatever you have performed after the project begins, you started working on this test cycle. This test cycle may be around like seven days or whatever it is. Okay. Let's say based on the complexity of the application, let's say this particular current uh, cycle. Okay. Current first test cycle has taken us like uh, around 17 days because uh, in this first test cycle, the first test cycle, we also created the test cases. Test cases will take a lot of time. Test scenarios have taken test plan. Apart from that, we also perform the testing also because this is the first test cycle, right? Uh, we have identified a lot of defects and all that's fine. So let's say it took us 17 days. The first test cycle has took us, let's say 17 days. And every day we have sent a status email to the client on what we have performed. I've shown you what type of emails we can send to the client in the previous sessions, right? Of this live project, I've, I've shown you clearly what all the different templates that we can send to the client as emails with all the details. Like uh, as part of this uh, first cycle guys, uh, okay, we, we done all this stuff. Now what happened after a few days is like uh, the developers have started off uh, once you have uh, reported defects, right? Developers have started fixing the defects. Okay. So developers have uh, considered few defects and then they have started fixing the defects. So now let's say in the second test cycle, the test cycle has ended here. You have given the results and you continue testing 
and you uh, you reported defects till the end of this test cycle you have continued executing the test cases exploring the application re reporting defects initially it started with the creating of the documents and later at the end right you continue testing the application until the cycle ends there is no end date for the cycle guys generally it happens when uh, the developers okay give you another version of the application so this was the first version when the project begin you have the version 1 of the application let's say v1 means version 1 of the application now you have reported the defects developers have fixed the defects in the latest version let's say they have given you version 2 at this point the developers have given you given you version 2 then you will stop testing on this first cycle first test cycle you will stop testing guys then you will start testing on the second version of the application okay this is a second test cycle again you need to repeat few things guys whatever you have performed in the first test cycle will be repeated here this is the second test cycle whatever you have performed in the first test cycle apart from like uh, i will show you what uh, i will tell you what will be what you will be doing in the second test cycle this is the second test cycle because the developers have given the latest version of the application that is version 2 in which they have they have fixed few defects right so immediately once uh, you get this second version of the application the first thing that you have to do is you have to perform smoke testing okay to check whether there are no major okay application is working at the high level you have to perform smoke testing fine you don't have to create the test plan again in the second version you don't have to create the test plan uh, and uh, you don't have to create the test scenarios okay but you can update the test cases guys okay you can update you can update the test cases in the second version based on uh, some new things happening we can update the test cases if there is any chance that we can okay update we can update the test cases and if you have missed any test cases in the first version as part of testing in the first test cycle you may come across some new ideas for adding more test cases okay adding more test cases to the existing list these are all the ideas guys okay so you may get some ideas to add more test cases okay this is all i call it as updating guys adding more or updating some wrongly written test cases, whatever it is, okay? You will be updating the test cases here as part of the test cycle, uh, second test cycle. And also, we have to perform retesting. I explained more about retesting in the previous sessions, right? Retesting, what is retesting? And also along with the retesting, you have to perform regression testing. Just go through the previous sessions, guys, uh, where I explained about uh, re re retesting and regression testing in detail, okay? So in the second test uh, cycle, Second uh, test cycle will perform retesting and regression testing. Okay, as part of retesting and regression testing, we'll execute the test cases, right? As part of retesting, we'll execute the test cases for the fixed defects. As part of regression testing, we'll execute all the test cases to see whether, because of this fixes of the defects, are there any side effects in the application or not? That's the reason we have to execute the complete test cases. As part of regression testing, we'll be executing the complete test cases. So this retesting and regression testing are explained in detail in the previous session. Just go through that, guys. Then again, we may come across new defects. Okay, as part of this next cycle, we may come across some new defects. If there are any problems in retesting and regression testing, right, we'll get new defects that we'll be reporting. Okay, and we'll continue exploring the continue testing the application by exploring the application. This will be there anyhow. Fine. And again, here also we'll send the daily status emails. You see here repetition of the work is there, right? Even though you completed executing the test case, again, you have to start it again as part of regression testing to see whether there are any side effects in the application that you are testing because of some defect fixes. Okay, defects fixes may introduce some side effects in the existing functionalities that are currently working in the application in the version one. The version two, they may not be working. So we have to continue the testing as complete testing. We have to do again in the second, second test cycle also, we have to do the continuous testing, okay? Uh, again, we have to restart our testing here as part of retesting and regression testing. And we need to update the test cases, add more test cases, execute them as part of the second cycle. Okay, all those stuff. If the smoke testing fails, so we'll reject the build and uh, we'll continue testing on the version one. If the smoke testing passes, then we'll go with the version two, like that. Okay, this is how it continues. And what else? What else? So this is how, guys. Uh, and uh, here also we'll be sending the status emails and all those stuff. Okay. And uh, here, uh, when you retest, right, you will close few defects, you will reopen the defects, okay? Uh, or you will, uh, 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 I mean, okay, we'll, you will, uh, some defects may not be fixed, okay? It may not be closed. 
we'll simply assign the defects back to the developers if they are not fixed all the stuff will happen in the second cycle okay all this stuff will happen in the second cycle and one more thing guys uh, this version 2 may not come only because of the defects fixes okay in the version 1 we have reported few defects and uh, the developers have fixed some defects and then they they fixed them in the version 2 and you started uh, completely testing on the version 2 you will you will no more test the version 1 once you get the version 2 right this is the latest version of the application that's what is happening but version 2 doesn't mean that only because of the defect fixes sometimes what happens is uh, along with the defect fixes uh, developers also may have added some new features new functionalities new functionalities into the application okay developers may also have added some new functionalities into the application or they may have modified okay modified existing functionalities into the application they may have modified the existing functionalities in the application let's say in the login page let's say there was a forgot uh, uh, forgot password link was not there earlier let's say in the version 1 let's say in the login functionality forgot password was not there but uh, uh, by the time version 2 came right uh, they have added this uh, forgot password functionality this is a modified developers have modified the login functionality you can also consider it as new functionality as uh, forgot password link forgot, forgot password functionality as a new functionality also and sometimes they may change the ui completely of a let's say login page was looking differently in the version 1 and now they completely changed the uh, ui in the version 2 let's say all those things may happen guys okay so like uh, when new functionalities get added and modified so what we have to do guys we have to update the test cases right we need to write new test cases for this updated functionalities for the modified functionalities or newly added functionalities we need to update the test cases or add more test cases to suffice this new functionality testing and completely test this particular test cases and if you come across some new defects in this new functionalities or existing functionalities as part of retesting and integration or like a new functionalities as part of uh, testing then you will simply report the defects so this process guys this process will continue like anything okay until the application functionality becomes stable okay until all the issues most of the issues got fixed okay until the most of the major issues in this particular application got fixed developers will keep on releasing this versions guys v1 v2 v3 okay some versions some version number will be in real time it will be different version numbers guys here i am taking v1 v2 v3 for explanation so when once let's say you are you have done your part here and you reported the defects and all the stuff and all the stuff and then finally now tomorrow if again the developers will come with another version again you have to do all this stuff again you need to perform smoke testing you need to update the test cases if possible you need to add more test cases if there are any uh, that you observed in the previous test cycle you have to perform retesting and regression testing retesting the defects uh, along with the test cases of the defects okay regression testing of the ex existing test cases functionalities you have to execute to see uh, any side effects all those things will be repeated here in the third test cycle also okay third test cycle so like this how many test cycles will come first test cycle is done second test cycle is there in the third version developers have fixed few more defects and developers have added few more functionalities or modified few more functionalities so again you need to perform testing complete testing you need to perform in third cycle it will keep on going guys until till when our this test cycles will continue till the application functionalities becomes stable okay this is one criteria okay till this application functionality becomes stable this cycle will keep on going and another thing maybe like uh, no more new features or existing features to be added or modified once the client feels that there are the functionality is uh, super good and uh, you don't have to add any more features okay? all the functionality is uh, completely developed like that or uh, you don't have to modify any existing functionalities everything looking good so the application should be stable application should become stable that means uh, defects should not be there okay major defects should not be there so the customer should be end user should be able to use application seamlessly without major defects or uh, without uh, general defects okay then other th criteria is like uh, the functionalities okay the number of functionalities that the developers or client is asking them to develop right in every cycle so that should 
that should be done guys okay there should be no more functionalities to be added into the application App application should be functional complete or there is no requirement for changing the existing functionalities till then this cycles will continue guys so few projects will take one year few projects take two years few projects take six months few projects take nine months it all depends guys during that nine months period or six months period or two years period guys we'll work across multiple cycles okay we generally when the project starts it is our first test cycle guys once we get any other things second version of the application then second test cycle will start then again if you get another version of the application third test cycle will start okay and uh, once the third cycle is done fourth fifth and it will keep on going uh, during your testing journey of this particular project guys one year or two year we don't know okay one year or two year we don't know until the client decides that uh, the application is stable and uh, there are no more new features to be added or existing functionalities to be modified fine so this is how the test cycles guys hope you got some idea like what exactly the test cycles are okay as software testers we have to perform continuous okay we have to perform testing in continuous testing cycles multiple test cycles we have to continue our testing guys till the project reaches a place where uh, the application functionality becomes stable and there are no other new functionalities or no existing functionalities that need to be updated fine modified so i already explained like what are the different things that we'll be performing as part of the test cycles right in the initial test cycles uh, it will be like uh, these things in the upcoming test cycles uh, they will get updated we have to update and we have to perform retesting regression this will continue guys this process will continue okay so these things will be okay continued in the third cycle also fourth fifth and all those stuff fine so fine i explained you everything about test cycles guys now let's say let's say we have reached a point where the the client has decided to release the application into the market so far during this particular test cycles guys uh, the, let's say the application is not released into the market okay if the application is released into the market end users can use the application right before the application is released into the market as a uh, as testers we are testing the application let's say the application is not released into the market and uh, now on a particular day when the client felt that uh, the application is stable now less number of defects are there and uh, other thing is like uh, there are no other new features to be added into the existing functionalities of the application or there are no existing functionalities that need to be modified in the application when the client has gets a, this kind of feeling right he will decide to release the application into the market the client will decide to release the application into the market so then what we have to do as software testers when the client decides to okay when the client decides to release the application into the market as software testers what we need to do so there are some tasks guys okay at the ending of the cycles at the ending of this test cycles okay when the application reaches to a place where it can be released into the market right we need to work on few documents okay like quality report document and other things that i will be explaining in the next session guys okay in this session i wanted to cover all about the test cycles so when the all the test cycles ends what we have to do when the client decides to release the application into the market as software testers what we need to do that thing i will be explaining in the next session in a detailed manner so that's it for this session guys see you in the next session thank you bye